Hi guys, this is tabletnews.com and I'm here with the Lenovo ThinkPad tablet. Here's the branding. You must have seen this tablet before. We had a hands-on experience at some point. We shown you the Lenovo Do Tour caravan that took place in Romania and now we're here with the device for a full review. The unbox happened a couple of days ago and now I'm going to check out this heavy and thick device. That's the Lenovo tablet. First things first, this tablet comes with a stylus, here it is, it fits right in this slot right here, it's a round slot, this is the stylus, it has a battery inside, a small battery, here it is, it actually works great and the tablet tends to work better with it than with the finger, for example, when I set it on off mode and want to unlock it, it usually took me a few tries, but with the stylus it moves better and faster, so it's a crucial element of the tablet experience. The ThinkPad comes in uh, versions of 16GB, 32GB or 64 It measures 26cm over 18 so 26cm on this side, 18 on this one, and the thickness is 1.4cm. It's got a front camera right here this is it the front camera in this area this is the display the 10.1 inch screen of the device supporting a 1280 over 800 pixel resolution other than that we have the usual configuration of honeycomb tablets that includes one gigabyte of ram we have the tegra 2 dual core cpu by nvidia one gigahertz processor so nothing fancy when it comes to hardware the usual combo the usual virtual keyboard here it is but as you can see the honeycomb 3.1 experience has been customized with widgets and some specific areas by lenovo and now let's move on to the design where we find out that aside from the front camera we have some physical buttons here we have this one that blocks the rotation here is the symbol you can now rotate the image if you want to here we are and if you want it to get stuck in this mode you press it so we're stuck this way okay enough about that we also have this shortcut button next to it the browser button you press it and next thing you know you're in the browser other than that we have, let's try something, a browser to see if it works, the stock Android browser here, back to these buttons we have the back button, quite a big one right here, and this home button that's just classic. I really don't understand why one should want to use these four physical buttons, I feel there's no need for them, especially because you can see right here we have the back button and the home button. The virtual versions plus this cool multitasking area that finally has something I've been wanting for a long time the X I can press to close the apps so I always wanted that on Honeycomb and my wish has come true some people say that these four physical buttons were included so that people working in industrial environments with gloves should press them to work around the OS easily well that could be it and now let's see the back as you can see there is a nifty touch here, the uh, dot of the eye from ThinkPad is a LED, so that's pretty cool. There is a 5 megapixel camera in here, and now let's check out the sides. At the bottom side we have the USB port, where you will be inserting a USB stick if you want to, right here. Sometimes we would get recognized, other times not, but the interface for transfer is pretty cool. This here is the not so strong speaker of the tablet and now on this side we have the area with the SD card slot right here next to it is the SIM slot and next is the dock port here the micro USB port, the HDMI and the audio port finally here we have the on off button that you'll be pressing and this volume buttons and the area for the stylus so that's it with the design 
The specs also include Bluetooth, 2.0, Wi-Fi, as I said. The panel of the display is an IPS one, like the one of the iPad 2, so you're getting top-notch technology. This device weighs 750 grams, so it's hard to hold with one hand, especially for a long while. I had uh, trouble holding it for too long. The battery is a bit disappointing, should provide about 6-7 hours of functioning, sometimes even 5. With a video playback, continuous video playback, it will only last for, let's say, 4 hours. So that's just sad. Ok, now let's move on to the software. We have a lot to discuss here. You can see this area at the center. This one is a uh, Lenovo launcher that includes four main apps and the web browser in the middle. Let's see the web browser since I mentioned it. Let's enter tablet news since we're here. The web browsing experience is normal, everything you have already seen before, nothing impressive, the standard Android experience. You can install other browsers if you want, if you want to change the experience, but this one will do just as good. As you can see, pinch to zoom, fast scrolling, avenue tab, everything works just fine. I was shocked to see a little thing that won't matter to most of you, but it mattered to me. There is no trace of the YouTube app. Either I'm blind or simply there is no YouTube app. I search for it everywhere and there is no trace. And I started to believe that YouTube is not supported on this device since Android market doesn't show it. So people, if you know where YouTube is for the Lenovo ThinkPad, please let me know. I really want a YouTube app on this device and not even Android market can give me one. And I want a free one. So Ok, let's get back to the app launcher. As you can see we have the watch, email, listen and read sections. The watch is pretty self-explanatory. You can watch videos. The email automatically brings you to the inbox, your Gmail inbox. The listen is of course music section but with the mspot service that allows you to stream from the internet and the reading is done by Zinio. You can also customize these apps for example you can replace listen with another application you can pick any of these let's say AccuWeather and now as you can see the launcher includes AccuWeather right here so you can play with this nice little widget as you want and continuing the list of customization done by Lenovo we have this area right here there is an app wheel with favorite apps it's only a visual gimmick it doesn't give you much use the favorite section I could have lived very well without it just like the physical buttons and there is even a selection you can remove an app, replace it with another one change your favorite apps and that's about it as far as customization goes of course a lot of widgets provided by Lenovo here they are, you can see some of them they even have their own little app store, it's called Lenovo App Shop. They don't have many apps, most of them and the good ones are pricey. Let's see the categories. We have the business, productivity, finance, games, let's see what's in finance. The ThinkPad tablet is considered a business tablet. We have financial calculators and other such stuff so we're good to go as I said there are available here over 30 apps that come with the tablet so a lot of things to have fun with there is AccuWeather involved as you can see good old AccuWeather with a lot of predictions this is the current weather the wind condition hourly predictions 15 days forecast so nothing unusual other things that you are available is this cute Lenovo calendar that took the tasks from my Google Calendar. There is this bookmark widget that you can see. A lot of apps I have installed. Let's see what else. I will try browsing around a bit more with the stylus so you can get a good idea of what's going on here. Another nice touch from Lenovo 
is this area right here is the social touch it's a great big widget that leads to an app that will be vital for your communication purposes okay so let's show you what you have here as you can see we have Gmail the other email inbox the calendar Facebook and Twitter if you press Gmail you'll see the emails right here if you press the calendar you'll see the recent events so here we are with the iPhone 4s launch in Romania if you press Facebook you'll only see stuff from Facebook what people are posting select one of them to detail it go back the stylus isn't always very, uh, always very precise we also have Twitter if you press Twitter you can see what people are saying at this time so that's about it this social touch includes everything you need to know about what's happening online it's got your contacts that you can add on the left side it's got your calendar up top it's got all the communication here with emails Facebook and Twitter all in one place so this is actually very very cool since I keep playing with the stylus in my hand I'm going to show you that it sometimes doesn't work uh, let me show you the notes app the app for which the stylus actually exists hopefully I won't get it wrong and hopefully you will recognize the stylus or my hand let's delete this let's try to write tablet news you recognize the word tablet let's try news uh, not so good with that this handwriting conversion works for 27 languages it's actually a cool tool and probably the only thing that differentiates this model from other tablets I'm not very happy with the stylus and what it does is not very precise and since the tablet is laggy automatically the stylus is laggy other things I have to show you and mention you is that I'm, I'm not very impressed with the brightness of a tablet it could have been brighter also uh, what I like about it is the matte finishing of the back it reminds me of the Blackberry Playbook another business tablet maybe even more business than this one and now let's see what else Lenovo offered us in terms of apps there's this section called Absolute uh, this one is protected with compute trace technology that will trace your PC, your tablet and uh, delete it if it's stolen we have the Kindle app, we have the Amazon MP3 app Angry Birds in HD, the App Shop this ArcSync that's very cool but I don't have an account for it ArcSync what it does is syncs your data and contacts and everything with a website and then syncs it with your PC with your phone and everything you need to know there's the average calculator, calendar, excuse me, the calendar from Google. And now let's see a bit of the camera. Although we shouldn't be bothered with such features, let's use this amuse and let's try a picture. The basic effects, as usual color effects, mono, sepia, negative, solarize, scene mode, white balance. Of course, we have some video capture available as well with color effects and time-lapse interval nothing fancy a 5 megapixel camera without flash so don't imagine you're the next Steven Spielberg out there with this camera other things that Lenovo included for us are the docs to go the usual documents app you open stuff even from Google Docs that support you open Excel docs PowerPoint presentations and other nice stuff let's see what else we have here of course you want some media playback I won't spare you of that let's listen to some music and let's check out the speakers on the device this is Evanescence and the latest album 
this is the maximum volume and it's disappointing. There's only one speaker and it's right here. That's the set for a multimedia tablet. Actually it's a business tablet. So we can't expect too much from it. So the audio section is a failure. Now let's try some video. Provided that I find the video player. Let's see. Here it is. Video player. Let's watch some fringe. Good TV show. Scroll through the episode. It's a bit of a spoiler if you watch Fringe from last season or something. The video playback is good as you can see, but I'm having troubles with that volume. I can't really understand anything with it. So, a little bit of a disappointment. Other included apps, you can see Back a Gammon, M Spot, the, the movie studio classic from Honeycomb. We got Notes Mobile that you saw earlier. And let me show you some maps. Let's hope I find it. This time, here it is. It's not like YouTube, that one missing. Let's see if it, if it can locate me. And let's try some layers in the meantime. I'm sure I won't be located since I'm inside, I'm indoors. But the maps work just fine. Keep on zooming. Everything looks great. And since this is a business tablet, you were probably worried about productivity, your data. So we have McAfee security, mobile security as an antivirus. You have to provide the location, six digit pin and other stuff to get your device protected. So let's not get so complicated. And now I'm going to show you some apps. For one, let's show you one that allows you to watch TV. So if you're on a business trip and you take this business tablet, you maybe want to use the Watch TV app, listen to a music station and watch a music st station. This app relies on the browser, so it's not much of an app in itself. But let's see how well it handles the playback. So we're watching TV right now, Virgin Music TV. There's even a full screen mode. Okay. We're done with this app. And now one for the little kids. This may be a business tablet, but we're all kids at heart. And some of us have kids at home. This one can read you stories for kids and they're the pretty interactive and look great. I'm trying to speed it up a bit to get to the interesting part. It was a very mysterious building. Now you can see the effects scary. like thunders and other stuff. Glass windows. Things always appeared to be moving when we looked inside. But then strange indeed and now one last thing like Steve Jobs would have said may he rest in peace I'm, trying, I'm going to try to find you a game to play it's actually a very bad game I'm showing you just to make fun of it this one it tricked me I saw it in Android market I thought it was counter strike and I failed you simply shoot the bad guys by moving this bitmap or whatever it is JPEG and pressing the button. I rather make paper planes than play this one. It's very annoying. 
it's simply target practice so this goes to show that if you see an icon like this with elite force and counter strike well it's not counter strike ok guys this is tabletnews.com this is the Lenovo ThinkPad tablet my hand really hurts from it since it's heavy 750 grams a stylus that doesn't respond always an interface that doesn't always respond these four useless buttons physical buttons so it's an all around disappointment for me that's why I consider this tablet it had high expectations and wanted a bit more especially for the price you're paying you're paying around six hundred dollars for it so people try a blackberry playbook I liked it more try an iPad try anything else it's cool that they customize Android but not cool enough for me so that's you guys this tablet gets a 7 out of 10 from me and this was the review of tabletnews.com bye bye